As you might joke that your teen is addicted to social media, but a new study for the American Psychological Association found that may actually be true. And as social media use continues to go up, well, so do the risks. News for San Antonio's Jordan Elder has more on a Girls Empowerment Summit where teens learned about the pros and cons. The girls here at the summit tell us social media is a huge part of their daily lives and they're learning more about the risks that go along with that. It's no secret that teens spend a lot of time scrolling, posting and browsing. Maybe like three quarters of the day. The American Psychological Association found that 50% of teens reported at least one symptom of clinical dependency on social media. It's because at that age, your brain is looking for attention and validation more than any other time in your life. Teens we spoke to say they've seen that dependency, especially with TikTok. You can't get out of it. Um, you don't go out. That's what we need to hear about today. That's one reason why city leaders wanted to include a social media session at their Girls Empowerment Summit. They grew up with it. That's all that they really know. Sometimes they feel like they have to be someone on social media and they leave their self behind. From cyberbullying to data collection to catfishing, experts say it's important for you to talk with your teens too. There really isn't anything all that private anymore, especially in using the internet. Lynette Owens works with Trend Micro, a company that helps teach parents on how to navigate these conversations. It actually has become a really powerful window into the world for young people. And we as parents are responsible and should take seriously our responsibility to help our children distinguish what on the on the internet is good for them and what is not. Owen says you can do that by limiting your own screen time and posting responsibly. You can also talk to your kids about what's not okay to share and how to verify the information they've seen. We as parents need to keep the doors of communication open at all times. Reporting on the West the Side, Jordan Elder, News 4 San Antonio.